Welcome back, I'm MJ Haggis, and in this episode of my Let's Play of SnowRunner, we're going to finish off this old oil rig. I'm still in the P12, as you can see, but I'm going to take this for the concrete blocks. And I'm also, while I'm here, I'm going to grab hold of that service trailer and drag it somewhere more appropriate. So that's how we're going to start it off. I have set a little route. We're heading down to the warehouse towards the gateway, but this is the route. That's the last waypoint, because then it's just basically down to the bottom. Nice and easy. After that, we're going to jump back into... Well, we're going to drop it off up at this abandoned oil rig, the concrete blocks. And then we're going to jump into our little pike, which is over here, if I can't... Hey, he's in that vicinity. And then we're going to hopefully, all going well, drop off some drilling equipment at the railway station warehouse in Albany River. Right, okay. That's the plan. Let's see how much it can be achieved. easier to actually use the winch to pull that round initially. Yep. Let's reel it in a wee bit. Now it should connect, hopefully, no problem. Like so. Excellent. Right. That's that. Let's top up with fuel from this guy, even though the service trailer's got fuel. I don't think we'll be up here as much now. So, quick fuel stop. 619 left. That's not bad. And now only 479. Still enough for a few fills for something. Right, let's go. I was going to catch that tree. Come on, let's go, go, go. It's an early morning start. Got to make the most of the, the day. Come on. But I'm not going to rush it. You know what happens when I rush it? I crash. Done enough of that lately, I think. Come on. There we go. Up over the hill, down the other side, pick up some concrete blocks and drop them off. Can't really see there being too many issues with that. We'll leave this trailer somewhere near the warehouse. I think it's also what is it 2,000 litres of fuel? On top of the repair patches is actually pretty decent. Right, nice and easy through here. We've had a couple of little accidents here. It's those boulders there that the trailer's just gone over. See, it was it was teetering on the edge of trying to go over, but fortunately, this thing's probably heavy enough to keep that dolly from twisting too far over. One can't quite get into high gear or high ratio. No, yeah. Cool. Right. All wheel drive off. Don't need it for down the hill. I need brakes. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Where should we leave this trailer though? I don't want to leave it on that grass verge on the right because I go in and out of there, so we'll kind of stick it up on this verge on the left here, I think. 
Kind of implies there's a little track up there. I've not been up there. Don't see the need. Let's detach that. And we'll reverse back into the yard. And then straight back out again. Nice. Some of your finest concrete blocks, please. There we go. That's all we need. One of them. Well, I've got. Right. Map check. Hey, I think we'll go up to this point, take a right, and go straight through. Then we head up this way and down that's pretty straight that's as direct a route as we could possibly get let's go sorry tree sorry engine bounces about so much that sometimes it doesn't seem to want to steer just where you want it to go wheels bounce right off the ground and then you end up just going straight however that won't stop us Ooh, gotta watch the train here for any little sneaky bits and we're going through there okay This is quite a nice new road. Nothing really too nasty to catch here. And up and over and drop down into the farm area. bit of a an overcast day almost careful over these rocks and down this unofficial track Then follow this track a little bit further. That, yeah, that's as good a place as any for uh, the track because it drops you right here. Let's just stick our nose into this box. So, and bye bye concrete box. Are we going to get a cutscene? Nah, I doubt it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. Have we uncovered all of the darkened air? Not quite. What's that in the water there? That just a rusted out old chassis or something? Let's drive forward. Oil drums and junk. Okay, well that'll have cleared the map. Let's stop swimming and get out of the water. We've got um, drilling equipment to drop off. Come on, P12, take me to the pike. I could have jumped across, but I want to drive. It's a bit more professional. Okay, nice. Let's park from here on the verge. Engine off and switch. Okay, how are you feeling? You good for this? Let's 
find out. Now the best route we are now, that's what I was saying in the last episode, the best route, and we've got to really go through this gateway. I'm almost thinking of doing the reverse of what we've kind of just done. It's, it would be the sensible choice, wouldn't it? I'm kind of facing the wrong way. So let's get over to there, is it? And up. And then through here. It's quite handy that the P12 has just been that way because it's just done a nice wee recce for us. Then we can top up fuel if necessary and then out. Okay, so back it up, it would seem. Oh man. Right round the tree then. Fine car beside this fence. Right, pipe, let's oh sorry about the fence. That's fine. Cut across here. And I'll kind of start edging to the right, try and meet up with that track again. Which is where? There it is, let's go through the trees here then. And up the hell we go. Squeeze past that tree. How impressive that pipe managed to get from low ratio to high ratio while climbing that hill there. I actually thought it was going to stall out. Okay. Nice. And this bit has got no real nasties to catch you. However, I'm not taking anything for granted. The P12 is a completely different truck to this little pike. Especially with a big trailer and a high up load. Downhill for a wee while. I'm nervous about going much faster in case the momentum will take that trailer over and I'm just going to go with it. There's no way the weight of this pike is going to stop it. <gasps> like, oof, like that almost. around as many boulders as I can because even those things can that they have in the past caught me out no wee engines earning his keep but he's doing well back into high ratio we got a nice wee bit of speed going again That's actually a really good route across from the farm. I probably haven't utilised that quite enough. Look at that muddy pit just here. Ah, 
Right, turn it into automatic. I'm not going to bother picking out any fuel from that trailer. We have the Dan. Dan's the man further up. Actually, quicker just leaving it in high ratio, to be honest. One ink civilian, we can ignore that fuel. And there's my Dan hiding around the corner. Do we even need it? That's the question. We've got 168 litres left. We've got the roof rack and we've got what's in the trailer. So I'm going to leave him just in case. I mean, he has a lot of fuel though. I can't see us needing it for the rest of what's left in this region. But anyway, let's, let's continue. Okay, we've seen this plenty, so let's nip forward. There we go. Other trucks lined up all over the place. So there's that short three bed, short logs trailer there that was dumped a while back. That could be getting used again soon. Well, nothing's guaranteed. Actually, seems like a nicer day through here. Again, just try and keep... No, 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 no! Oh, there's a winch point in there. I was going over. I'm... It's a tree stump. Thank you, little tree stump! And there's me trying to keep the trailer as level as possible. That's mad. Right, okay. Now, if I release the winch, I think I'm going to start to go. So I need to start get the wheels turned away and head into the water. Hopefully I'll still manage to catch it. I don't think there's another winch point. Nope. I can't change to a different winch. Can't reach that one. Okay, this is going to be a little bit dodgy. I've got the dairy nearby if I do tip it over, but I really don't want to. Right, low ratio, ready to go, release and go. I didn't even move there. Okay. That's so bad, because you think you've got to go through there to avoid the banking of this bit here, but... <sighs> Learning about the map every time you play it, Follow the road. That's been a while since I've managed to catch a tipping over truck with a winch. Other side of the building, not a problem. Pike has done, even though with that little almost tip over, which wasn't really the Pike's fault, has done, yet again, exceptionally well. I highly recommend you guys try it out if you haven't done so. Or give it give it more of a go. You've probably got your favourite trucks, but I tell you, you'll, you'll have a great bit of fun trying to get this guy through. But anyway, let's get into this drilling equipment. Oh, it would have been so nice for a cutscene. Anyway, what's it say? Well done, another piece of our puzzle salvaged. We've learned our lesson. Here's hoping we can coexist peacefully with the locals from now on. And 1,000... Uh, 12,350 cash and 1,360 XP. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
could have been a wee bit more considering the shapes and about we've done. So let's add this guy into our collection of trailers and trucks. And squeeze him in there. I hope they're not. Bye bye. Mm. Sorry. That's it. The same truck that was on the um, Zix 566 Alpha right next door, and it is, this is the tippy truck. Oh, I'm just going to leave it there, that's shocking reverse, and I went the wrong way. So, I'm just going to leave them there. Okay, we have another one completed. So what have we got left? Fire department's completed. The flooded land, that's the pipes. Timber is the short logs one that I was talking about for that other trailer that we passed a minute ago long logs we still after all this time of getting that truck is it the fleet star 2070 down by the log zone for that do you know what i'm just going to accept it that's this is what we're going to do next so medium planks here's everything going the first house and the second house so there's the first house right there and there's the second house so this has got Medium planks one. Medium planks one. Well, that's mighty handy. And that's a two slot. Okay. I'm sure we can come up with a truck for that somewhere. And long log. So that's the one that's got to come through. You don't need to do it in order because it's not locked, it would appear. So if you're coming through this gateway here to go all the way over there. I mean, there's a road. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Right, let's go back into... Did I put his engine off, by the way? I don't know if I did. It's flashing at me. Give me trailer. Is that, that one? Yeah, it must have been. Don't know why it's doing that. Right. Engine is off. Okay, let's jump through to the burn forest again. Look at those three nice ticks. Effectively, regional progress is complete. Burn forest and the log station. Fleet Star was right. Now this guy is not exactly the best for logging. However, it's going to be yet another challenge. And I think it'll be fine. But then I'm a, the eternal optimist. Okay. We are hooked up to the trailer. This is an old school kind of truck. Now, time is ticking on, so if anything, we're just going to get preparation done for this timber for the locals number one. Maybe we'll get loaded up and we'll take this up to the gateway. And then in, this, in the next episode, we'll do the actual delivery. But getting up to the gateway will be a good practice, a good test. Right, we're lined up, so this should load fine like so bosh that's super long okay but that's all we need one long logs right fleet star let's see what you can do i've got to keep in mind i need all wheel drive and diff lock to be activated but so far so good Fleet Star, is that not classed as a, a heavy? It will be. Not a truck I've used an awful lot, to be honest. He's doing okay, he's just holding his pace. I haven't even put the diff lock on yet. That's not too bad. It's going to be working that engine hard. But he's doing okay. There's my wee... GMC, so he's good for short logs, because that was the other option. If I didn't use the big three-slot trailer, I could have done two runs with the GMC. 
So we have options. It depends on the route and because it's two runs with that guy. I might just want to do one. I don't know. But this guy did pretty good to get up here. Didn't do too much complaining at all. Let's put his engine off. What I'll do after this episode, I'm just going to jump this guy through to save the cut scene of going through um, and we're ready to go in the next episode guys and i'm hoping you'll join me for it thank you once again for watching with me you'll see me again soon bye for now